Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Chief Operating Officer of the American Advertising Federation, Constance Cannon Frazier, and the Chairman of the American Advertising Federation's Board of Directors and CEO of WaveMaker, Amanda Richman. Thank you all for joining us, and special thank you to the New York Stock Exchange and FCB for helping to make this happen and partnering with us to recognize the eight individuals who are the 2019 industry leaders that will be inducted into the American Advertising Federation's Advertising Hall of Fame. We are so excited to be here, and we hope this becomes a tradition, and actually we've just spoken to someone who said it can become a tradition, so let's have a hand. The AAF was established in 1905. Our efforts are concentrated in four primary areas, education, diversity and inclusion, government relations, and recognition, all for the purpose of protecting and promoting the well-being of our industry. We are the unifying voice for the advertising industry, and the annual Advertising Hall of Fame celebrates outstanding individuals, their contributions to the industry, and their impact on society. As the chair of the AAF Board of Directors, I'm thrilled to be celebrating the 70th anniversary of the Advertising Hall of Fame this year on April 30th and right here in New York City. Just wonderful because actually the Advertising Hall of Fame started here in 1948 in New York. So it's fitting that we're celebrating here at the New York Stock Exchange as well. This Hall of Fame event really honors the men and women who have served the advertising cause and it definitely elevated the industry. Since more the start, more than 200 extraordinary individuals in our industry have been honored. So what does it take? It's individuals that have not only served 35 years minimum in our organization across all dimensions of the advertising industry, but through their professional lives and particularly their commitment also to society and to the history of advertising and making it a, a better place and a better industry for all of us have made some outstanding and notable contributions. It's elevated its reputation and they've consistently have practiced high ethical standards and have contributed substantially to this community. So it's now my pleasure to introduce the chair and the vice chair of the Hall of Fame ceremonies, Bill Hegelstein, president and CEO of RPA, and Carter Murray, global CEO of FCB. Good afternoon. As Amanda mentioned, these Hall of Famers set the standard, not just as advertising industry icons, but also as nationally and globally recognized thinkers, leaders, and innovators. These new inductees will take their place alongside the legends inducted in previous years at the Hall of Fame introduction ceremonies on April the 30th at Cipriani Wall Street, right around the corner. To put it up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> the colleagues we will honor have impacted and inspired our work, our industry, our culture, and the world around us. As professionals and as human beings, they give us inspiration, drive, and hope. Without further ado, and in no particular order, uh, let us announce the Distinguished Advertising Hall of Fame class of 2019. First up is John Duna, the Chairman Emeritus of McCann World Group, the global marketing services agency group that he founded in 1997 when he was chairman and CEO of McCann Erickson Worldwide Ad Agency Network. Recognizing how advertising was evolving, he rapidly transformed and expanded McCann, the ad agency he first joined in 1984, to include six additional worldwide marketing communication networks in areas that included digital communications, PR, promotions, event marketing, customer relationship management, brand consulting, design, and healthcare marketing. Our next Hall of Fame honoree is Michael Casson, the founder, chairman, and CEO of MediaLink, a leading strategic advisory firm. He was known as an entrepreneur and icon in the media and entertainment industries long before starting MediaLink in 2003. Described as the ultimate 
power broker. He is a trusted advisor to Fortune 100 chief marketing officers, media moguls, Hollywood visionaries, technology pioneers, advertising holding company heads, and Wall Street investors who seek his insights and instruction for solving their most complex business challenges. The next honoree is a real powerhouse, Anne Finucan, the Vice Chairman at Bank of America, leading the bank's strategic positioning, ESG, capital deployment, and public policy efforts, and is Chairman of the Board of Bank of America Merrill Lynch in Europe. Forbes magazine recently recognized her as the eighth most powerful woman in finance. Throughout her career, Anne has used her advertising roots as a force for creativity and positive change, literally making the world a better place. Next is Deborah Lee, the former chairman and CEO emeritus of BET Networks. Deborah's trailblazing career as one of the most influential female voices in the entertainment industry spans over three decades. During her tenure, Deborah helmed BET's reinvigorated approach to corporate philanthropy and authentic programming that led to such hits as The New Edition Story, Being Mary Jane, The BET Awards, Black Girls Rock, BET Honors, and many, many more. The next honoree who will be inducted into the Advertising Hall of Fame is Maurice Lévy, Chairman of the Supervisory Board of Publicis Group, the leader in business marketing communications transformation. Maurice joined Publicis in 1971 and was responsible for transforming Publicis from a great French creative agency into a global leader, covering all segments of the advertising industry. Today, Publicis represents more than 80,000 people and $10 billion of revenue, and is present in almost 104 countries around the world. Our next honoree into the Adver Advertising Hall of Fame is Bill Konisberg, the president, CEO, and founder of Horizon Media. Bill is the quintessential American entrepreneur. He built Horizon into the second largest media agency in the US market, and the largest privately held media company in the world. And beyond just scale, he built a company consistently named as one of the best places to work in America. The next inductee is Indra Nui, the former CEO and outgoing chairman of PepsiCo. As CEO, Indra was the chief architect of Performance with Purpose, PepsiCo's pledge that to do what's right for the business by being responsive to the needs of the world around us. She also led the acquisition of Tropicana and the merger with Quaker Oats that brought the vital Quaker and Gatorade business to PepsiCo. The final individual to be inducted into the 2019 Advertising Hall of Fame class is Hector Orsi founder and co-chairman of Orsi, a national leader in marketing and advertising. A fully bilingual native of Sonora, Mexico, he has helped pioneer the growth and recognition of the U.S. Hispanic marketing industry. His personal mission has been to integrate Latinos into the national mainstream while supporting diversity and inclusion in our industry. Hector will also be recognized this year at the Advertising Hall of Fame ceremonies with the prestigious David Bell Award for his industry service. So that concludes the 2019 Hall of Fame inductee announcements. We hope to see you at the induction ceremonies at Cipriani and Wall Street on April the 30th. Thank you very much.